Governments and companies in the Asia Pacific will be able to get access to AI strategy that is personalized to their needs. Technology firm NCS has rolled out a system that assesses how ready organizations are to take up AI securely and provides them solutions to do so. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says these will give public and private organizations the confidence to adopt AI. We need to erect guardrails and create conditions for technology innovation to take place safely and responsibly. While managing the risk, we must maximize the upsides of technology by deploying it to solve real-world problems and bringing our companies and our workers along this journey. NCS is also working with other major tech providers to provide some of these solutions. And this includes helping organizations become more digitally resilient by building up their cybersecurity and data governance. Okay. Innovating with AI is not trivial. It does require a substantial amount of investment in terms of manpower, time and resources for companies. And companies must be able to understand whether building an AI solution or partnering with a vendor with NCS will create more return of investment in their efforts to adopt AI. And for more, we are joined now by Howie Lau. He is Managing Partner of Corporate Development and Partnerships at NCS. Mr. Lau, welcome to the studio. Um, you know, Singapore is accelerating itself uh, to be uh, its efforts to be a global AI hub, right? So where does it currently stand when it comes to digital resilience? Well, uh, Shahida, first of all, thanks so much for the opportunity to be here. I think uh, the simple answer is that I think Singapore has a very strong foundation in digital resilience. But if I were kind of to break it down, digital resilience has probably a couple of components. It has cybersecurity, data governance, app robustness, infrastructure, and operational readiness. So the reason why we think that Singapore has a strong foundation is because if you look at it on a three levels, the government levels, mm -hmm. you have agencies like IMDA, CSA, and many others that has put together progressive programs and policies in this space. Okay. Second, we believe that organizations in Singapore have access to technologies and tools uh, to help them with this journey. Mm -hmm. And third, we also have very progressive uh, industry associations like SCS and SG Tech that are now uh, playing their part in this space as well. So it's really a collaborative effort. Very much so. Um, the digital landscape, we know that it is constantly evolving and already we are seeing these emerging threats like, you know, deep fakes, misinformation, AI generated fraud, right? So where do you think the gaps lie? What are the pain points that need to be plugged, that need to be addressed? Well, the, we, we all know that in the last year or so, AI has been the big word. And every organization recognizes that AI is a game changer. But every organization also recognizes that uh, to find the right use cases of AI, it's not easy. Mm. Because tech in itself, technology in itself is meaningless unless it is able to solve a problem. So that's why we feel that it's not just about AI adoption, but coupling the AI adoption with a secondary muscle called digital resilience. Then it allows the organizations to deliver the right type of value, but at the same time prevent itself from those harms that you are uh, referring to as well. And it's really about understanding those risks and threats, right? Mm. Um, so this is where NCS probably comes in and tries to support the companies mm. in their AI adoption efforts. Tell us more about NCS new offerings. How do they differ from uh, existing AI and you know, digital resilience products that are already on the market? Well, I think if I take a step back, we are in a unique position uh, for a couple of reasons. One is that we work with clients across, and we operate about 20 plus cities in Asia Pacific. Mm -hmm. So we work with clients across multiple sectors. And this allows cross-pollination of ideas and uh, new innovation. So that's one uh, vantage point. The second is that we work with a lot of technology partners from global giants to startups. Again, this provides us a view as to what the emerging technology will be. Mm -hmm. And by putting the two together, um, we decided that we should try to help clients by putting together a series of frameworks, pre-tested solutions, accelerator and tools. And, and that's what we announced today. 
I like how you put it, cross-pollination of ideas. Um, the solutions are also offered to the public sector as well. How can a suite of services like this uh, benefit even the ordinary citizens, the man on the street, people like myself, perhaps? Well, I, I think if you look at from a solution standpoint, there will be the primary value from the organization, but there will always be a spillover value for the, the citizens in this manner. Mm. So, for example, one of the solutions that we have uh, pre-tested and announced is a call center solution that's aided by AI. Okay. So we all have our own experiences calling call centers and mm. the potential frustrations along with it. But an a AI-aided call center could potentially help you get an answer better, faster, and at the same time reduce the workload uh, and the paperwork by the call center uh, agents itself. So it is value to the organization, but potentially value to the citizens or the consumers. Yeah, and, and understandably, you know, for organizations, uh, they have varying levels of uh, AI maturity, right? So how is NCS helping companies uh, through their different AI needs? The good and bad thing is that with every tech shift, we're now in the AI tech shift. Not, not that long ago, we were in the mobile digitalization shift. Yep. With every shift, uh, there will be innovators and there will be folks that takes a bit more time. Yeah. It could differ by country. It could differ by industry. Mm -hmm. Some industry is a bit faster, some a bit lesser. I think for us, what we try to do is to take the collective learning and ideas and put it into prefab, uh, pre-thought through, pre-tested solutions and offerings and framework to help organizations at whichever level of maturity to say, hey, look, um, I am ready for step one, but here are the tools available for step one. I'm ready for step two. Here are the tools available for step two. All right, Mr. Lau, uh, we, we've learned a lot today. So thank you very much for speaking with us. Uh, that was uh, Howie Lau, Managing Partner of Corporate Development at Partnerships at NCS, talking about AI and digital resilience.